Good morning. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to solve a differential equation. So I will share my computer screen with you. Solve the differential equation. D derivative of r with respect to theta is equal to sine 4 pi theta. So how do I do that? So we can write solution dr my d theta is equal to sine 4 pi theta. So r is equal to integration of sine power 4 pi theta d theta. Okay. And that is equal to, I can further split up, is equal to integration of for sine square theta I can write. So it is sine square pi theta, the whole thing is squared, uh, d theta, right? And for sine square, I can write for sine square is one minus cosine two pi theta. I'm using the double angle formula. Okay, divided by 2 square d theta. Okay, which is identically to, to saying r is equal to r is equal to integration. So, once half is in the denominator, half square is one fourth. I'll bring it outside the integration because it's a constant integration of 1 minus cosine 2 pi theta square d theta d theta the square should be here okay so no, this is not. okay and now i'm going to use the formula for a whole square which is uh, as you know uh, you definitely know, I think, is write it here a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So I can write 1 minus cosine 2 pi theta whole square is equal to 1, okay, minus 2 cosine 2 pi theta plus cosine square <laughs> 2 pi theta. Okay. Okay. So let me plug that in. So now I write R is equal to 1 fourth integration uh, for 1 minus cosine 2 pi theta whole squared. I write uh, in parenthesis 1 minus 2 cosine 2 pi theta plus cosine square 2 pi theta. Okay, d theta. Okay. So, <clears throat> now I will integrate. Okay. So, So R is, uh, let me write over here, R is equal to one fourth integration of one d theta is theta, okay. Okay, integration of <clears throat> cosine two pi theta is half. And so this is integration of uh, so basically, let me write it out. I'll get the two outside cosine two pi theta d theta um, plus 
integration of um, <clears throat> cosine square uh, 2 pi theta. I can write that as uh, one plus cosine expressing it the pi theta in terms of the double angle formula cosine so cosine squared two pi theta is one plus cosine double angle four pi theta divided by two and that is also integration with respect to d theta right so r is equal to one fourth keep the one fourth outside is theta minus cosine 2 pi theta is equal to uh, 2 that is already there times half times 1 over pi and integration of cosine pi theta is integration of cosine 2 pi theta is sine of 2 pi theta plus okay integration of half with respect to d theta is theta by 2, okay, plus integration of cosine of, so I have the half already, and cosine of 4 pi theta integration, I'll bring the 4 pi outside, and then it will be sine of 4 pi theta, okay. So, R now becomes equal to one-fourth. I have theta plus theta by two. The theta by two is coming from here. Okay, this is the theta by two. And this is the theta term. Theta plus theta by two. And then this two and this two will cancel. So, I'll be left with minus one over pi sine 2 pi theta plus 1 over 8 pi sine of 4 pi by theta. Okay. So this will be, let me create some space for myself. So, R is now equal to one-fourth theta plus theta by two is three theta by two. And I forgot the minus sign over here. Okay. Minus sine two pi theta divided by pi plus sine of 4 theta pi theta divided by 8 pi. Okay. Now I can do some uh, manipulation to the denominator if I want. So, this is just simplification step that we'll do now. So, R is equal to one fourth. Oops, oops, oops. No, I don't want that. I'll erase this. Maybe I'll move this a little bit up. So R is equal to one fourth. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I will make the denominator, you see, 8 pi is the common thing. So this I will make 8 pi by multiplying the denominator uh, by 2 is already there. I multiply it by 4 pi. So this becomes 3 theta multiplied by 4 pi, okay? Minus, this is pi already there. I multiply the numerator and denominator by, so common denominator is 8 pi plus sine 4 pi theta 
divided by 8 pi. Okay. So what happens? R is equal to 1 fourth times uh, 12 pi theta divided by 8 pi minus 8 8 sine 2 pi theta divided by 8 pi and plus sine 4 pi theta divided by 8 pi. Okay. So I can bring the 8 pi outside from the denominator as a common factor. So 8 multiplied by 4 in the denominator is 32 pi. Inside the parenthesis, it will be 12 pi theta minus 8 sine 2 pi theta plus sine 4 pi by theta. Okay. The only thing I forgot when I did the integration is to put a constant of integration, which should be always there because this is an indef indefinite integral plus c plus c and plus c. So the final answer is this expression, the expression for r with a constant of integration c. If you come up to the this stage, this stage, that's good enough. The last three st steps are just simplification, okay? So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share this with your friend. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back again next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.